Hi Sunshines, welcome back to our channel Mad Curls. I'm Taylor Ann. And I'm Lori Ann. And in today's video we are bringing to you another one and done. A one and done is... A one and done is a one product wash and go. We haven't done these in a while, right? I think we did one a couple weeks ago. Maybe. We were, we're mm. not doing them as frequently as we were before yeah. we were like pumping out one and dones. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> but we are bringing to you a, another one and done. The product that is up today is... Is Shea Moisture. Let's see. Glasses time. <laughs> Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil. Strengthen, grow and restore leave-in conditioner. So this is our leave-in conditioner. And we, of course, have videos on YouTube. And I asked a question one day, what would people want to see? Because we kind of like the input. Maybe that's why the one and dones are dying out. Because we're getting more feedback and we're wanting ideas. So someone said, could we review the, um, the brand Shea Moisture? So I said, what in particular? Because Shea Moisture it has is a huge, huge <laughs> brand. Okay, and so, um, and then somebody else came in with the black castor oil leave-in. So we were like, hey, okay, we have it. let's try it. We, we like it. it. We never used it by itself, though. No, so I, I always use it with idea. gel. Yeah, I always use it with gel. And I yeah. know for this line, they have a gel that they came out with. Um, I've tried it. It works, but I don't really like it, so I took it back. But back um, to the store. Back to the store. <laughs> but I do love the leave-in. The mm -hmm. leave-in. I do like the leave-in. Yeah, we like the so. leave-in. Um, it, it's to be warned. If you are, don't care for scents, it's um, not unpleasant. Mm -hmm. It's just very lingering and it's very sweet. It's like it's definitely this time of year, right? Yeah, so warm. it smells like yeah. It smells like gingerbread. Yes. It's, Creamy, almost like cake batter. Yeah, it's it looks like, like cake gingerbread batter. cake batter. It looks like cake batter, and um, it smells like cake batter. Yeah, um, it is a little watery, but it it has substance, but it's watery. Like it does swish in. Be the, warned because this the container. is like maybe about here, so that's why it didn't spill out. But when you first buy this, did they bring it all the way up to the top? You mm -hmm. get your money's worth with yeah, this. Yeah, with that. And when you open this, I think. I've a lot of reviews. A lot of people said like, "Oh, you oh, see people yeah. kind of like doing yeah. this on, on YouTube." Or some people actually take the jar and like pour it in yeah. their hand. But yeah. yeah, this definitely. I would not turn this upside down to show you how thick it is because it simply is not. It is extremely watery, yeah. and you will lose some if you go in willy nilly. Excited, mm -hmm. yeah, willy lily. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so be very careful yeah. when you open it, and. Yeah. Um it retails anywhere I've saw anywhere from like ten ninety four to like thirteen, fourteen dollars, depending on where you get it. Mm -hmm. Um it can retail anywhere in between that range. But you get a lot of product. You do, and I don't go through these fast, so No, it it's a lot. I mean with all your hair it, yeah, you still have some there, so Yeah, so I'm excited to see what it does by itself because I like this. So mm -hmm. if you wanna see if this oh we didn't tell them what makes a product one and done approved what makes a product one and done approved well, what makes a product what we're looking for at the end of this review will be how moisturized our hair is so we look for moisturization we look for curl definition if mm -hmm. we can see those as I call them those rotini curls or whatever your curl pattern may be if it yeah. holds that and hold mm -hmm. the, the third thing is hold so those are the three things we're looking for moisturization curl definition and hold with one product nothing extra no leave-ins no gels um, mm -hmm. Of course, we washed and conditioned our hair, rinsed the conditioner out, and now our hair is dry. dry. Mm -hmm. So when mm -hmm. we come back, we're going to spray our hair, wet it, mm -hmm. simply put this in, and out the door. All right. So please keep watching. <laughs> <laughs> so first things first, water. We already sprayed our hair a little bit off camera. My hair was very dry. So I'm starting to get water all over the place. Okay. All right, I'm going to section my hair today for this. Or just the, the way I section. A little piece up here. Mm -hmm. Just up there. Little bun thing thing. Your shirt's getting wet? It is. There's like little sprinkles of water on it. It's not bad yet, but it's probably going to get bad. <laughs> I'm going to take this lid off. I know you're ignoring my laughter. I am. Because <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> okay. You're laughing at nothing. Nothing happened yet. Yeah, no, nothing happened yet, but I'm laughing about the memory of our last video where I talked about that shirt and how you let your hair just rest on the shirt and it makes no sense to me. Try to play me, not bother. <laughs> and this, folks, is what I'm talking about. This nonsensical wetting your hair and dress clothes. <laughs> don't care. <laughs> okay, so I'm going in first. Ooh. Oh! Sorry, See, sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. See what I mean? It's liquidy. Where'd it go? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Grab it. Yeah. Grab what? It's on. It's right here. Get it. Oh. 
Okay. <laughs> yes, it's very liquidy. It's very liquidy. Less is more. Liquidy a we word. We take our time. Um, I don't know. I know, right? I went in with like a whole like glob. It's flying yeah, everywhere. I know. Oh, but it's smooth. It goes in so nicely. It goes in very nicely. I can't wait to see the results. I have high hopes for this. We're both gonna smell like cinnamon buns tonight. We sure are. Mm -hmm. Probably not gonna be able to stand myself tonight. <laughs> the smell. It's the only thing. Shea Moisture has some great products, but, and their scents are unique, but some of them are just really, really strong. This one's not as strong as some of their other ones. They had like have like a rose one that I really like. Um, I got a great wash and go with it, but the smell was just really, really strong. Like I just can't, I just can't. We've learned since we've been doing these one and dones and since we've tried so many products to be light-handed because mm -hmm. we found out that less is more i don't know why i'm being heavy-handed today but i feel like i can be because it's um a leave-in conditioner it's not like yeah. a hard gel or it's not any sort of a hard styling product but we did back in the summertime use that creamy um one and done i forgot product. how much i like this Oh my gosh, I used to. This was my go-to for a while. I would use it with the Bounce Curl Gel or the, the Diva Gel, mm -hmm. the Diva One Condition. I used to wear this you product sure did. out. I love this. Yeah, you did. I, I think because I you could smell it, it you'd be like, you got that stuff in your hair today? I know. Like, I always I had it in my it. hair. I started out, I was the one that put, brought it into the house, being the product junkie. You the proud did. product junkie that I am. And um, then I got sick of it. You benefit from all my product junkie ways. I hand them over in a heartbeat. But I was very intrigued when I saw that in the comments the other day to try this. Yeah, by itself. Yeah. So you guys come up with some good ideas. Yes, I know. You're teaching us stuff. I know. Keep commenting if you like it. <laughs> right. And I have to say, my hair has been a very dry as of late and I see hope here. Could be the weather. <laughs> <laughs> That's my line normally I in know, videos. Because it's fall going into like winter, even though not mm -hmm. really winter is in December and we're not there yet, but you know, the weather change can can change your hair. Whether it's dry. Yeah, or... I think it can. Yeah, it has to be because you deep condition regularly. I, like regularly. But I stopped um well, we keep getting varying opinions. Too much deep conditioning is not good. I know that I learned that too much protein wasn't good, even though I knew mm -hmm. that beforehand, but I just didn't really know, realize how bad it was. And before we got the highlights in a few weeks ago, I did Apogee the night before. And for some reason, those highlights would not take. No. I sat under the dryer for a while, and that has never been my experience at our salon. And they just weren't going like ashy just, for yeah. some reason. They were like turning red or brown or yeah she kept asking me did i put have a color in my hair or something and it just they just wouldn't take finally they they pulled through um but i'm wondering because apple g says before you get color treatment or whatever do this put this in your hair so i did that the night before thinking i was doing something good to my hair but it was a process the next day to get those highlights to shine through but they eventually did. So I don't know whether I just, and she said, whatever you do, do not put any protein in your hair. Because Apogee, as we all know, is just a really heavy duty protein. Some people are so afraid of it. They don't even do it at home themselves. They're like, oh, no, 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 I'm too afraid of that. I never knew any better. When I was 25 and I had my son and my hair was falling out, I was told to put Apogee in it. And I did. Never being cautioned, never being afraid to say, oh, this is for salon use only. I just kind of did. I'm not suggesting that anybody else does it. But I did it at the time to stop the hair loss in my hair. And I don't know if time stops hair loss or if the products really do. I don't know. But anyway, eventually. Well, we did find out that because, um, um, as you guys know, like my hair was shedding like crazy. And we were doing different things. We thought I might need a haircut. Um, but apparently I was losing my hair because of stress. And so that's stopped over time. Yeah. I'm not losing anywhere near what I was losing um, maybe about a month ago, my hair was just coming out like crazy. Yeah, you and thought it was because of the, the, the weather, nature of our job. Yeah, uh, the, the moisture, protein. We didn't know what was going on. Yeah. 
And then you found the answer. I did, it was a name. It was called. It was called something specific. I googled mm. it. It was actually called, and it described every single symptom that when you're under stress, and you were because of um, because of her father being diagnosed with prostate cancer. So it was very stressful in the whole process during that time, going up to the hospital, and it was a very daunting task. All right, you know what time it is. But yeah, it stopped on a die. As quick as it started is as quick as it literally stopped. The flip over. It's almost like the second you found the answer, it just like stopped. It just stopped. It just stopped. And we have to credit our salon because I said, I cautioned her. I said, Taylor, I would not put bleach in your hair at this time, honey. I just would not. I just don't think it's, it's safe. And we went in to our salon that day and we told her the issues and... Nope, she said no. You know she could do it, and yeah. she sure but did. It, it, it got oh, better. My hair, my hair got she, better. Yeah. I've never seen bleach get your hair better, but it literally did get your hair better. Yeah, I don't know what was going going on with my hair, and then once I got my highlights, like <laughs> my curls pop, everything just yeah. kind of pop back in place, and I was yeah. like, okay, all right. But see, that's the perks of I guess going to a professional. I don't know if they would have popped if I got box dye and did it myself, <laughs> developer. So, Can you stop splashing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just get I get very excited putting product, and I'm sorry. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> My hair looks so good already. It does. I need a comb. I never come prepared. Here we go. <laughs> we are going to start doing a montage of our favorite expressions. My, Mine is I need a comb. I need a comb. The product weather. Product junkie. Product junkie. The um, weather. The weather bomb. Um, bomb. So, I say awesome. I say bomb. Everything's bomb. Mm -hmm. Moisturized. Ooh, y'all see that? <laughs> <laughs> dope. Dope, dope, dope. What's dope? My hurt. Oh. How's yours? Dope. Your fairy knot. Doper. I see it. Where's my fairy knot? Right here. Oh, well, okay. Have no fear. All right, I hear um, crackling. Okay, that makes me on, nervous. Well, what makes me nervous is seeing knots at the end of your curls. That's okay. what makes me very nervous. Okay, I can't hear All crackling. Right. And just scrunch that back up. Yes. Okay. Product in. Product in. Product is in. So I'm well, actually... like a page boy. I have no idea. So yeah. I don't know how we finna do this because I'm getting ready to go to church. So my hair will be air drying. <laughs> your hair is going to be house drying. <laughs> Yes, and maybe you, a diffuser. Uh, maybe diffuser. Yes, because I liked that experience the other day. Yeah, and so you don't really have a choice. I don't have a choice. Nope. So, so we waited to the last minute. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going out. You were staying in, mm -hmm. and we will be back to show you the results and see if the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In is Mad Curls one and done approved. One and done approved. We'll see you later. Bye bye. bye. And we are back. <laughs> These are our results. Yep. These are them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I really love like it. I really love it. Like, I loved it in the drying process. I really love it. You went off to church and I diffused. <laughs> yes, yeah, so my hair is air dried with a little bit of mm -hmm. window action, air action. I tried diffusing differently. I diffused 90% and then the last... 10% I um because I had to be sort of damp in the roots I kind of stretched it um and so I did feel the dampness like that you're feeling now like you kind of feel damp mm -hmm. but the but the product itself I don't it has to be like moisture it doesn't feel when you well it's shea moisture there and, you go <laughs> and it's, it has organic shea butter in it and I know whenever I use shea butter I always feel the shea butter in my hair yes this, so you feel, anything with shea butter yes. I feel it in my hair I feel the shea butter that's what so it is it feels butter. like dampness if you feel um moisture like there's you stuff feel, on your hand yeah. yeah not like there's stuff but like your hand feels like there's you know your hair's moisturized so yes. you feel it on your hand yeah yeah um so you had something to say so i always backtrack when we come back and earlier i spoke about our stylist and the protein issue and when we turned off the cameras we looked on the back and that thing is that thing is full of protein if we understand what protein is so the first thing i said i said uh oh here we go all right so the first thing i found on here if this is protein everybody speak to it i didn't know if panthenol was or not i thought it was but i may be wrong all right but i do know the word protein there's a right hydrolyzed rice protein. rice protein um we found one more protein word in here but we weren't speaking to ourselves specifically Keratin, I believe we is were protein. just saying that our stylist said like and naturals know that like too much protein can mess up your hair too much moisture can mess up your hair so like you have to find that balance so mm -hmm. this particular product does have protein 
in it, which I used it for years before I started reading ingredients and all that kind of stuff. Um, never did anything to my hair. My hair loved it back then. My hair clearly still loves it. Your hair loves it. Uh, my hair know. loves protein. Your hair period. loves protein. You love protein. My hair loves. Your some hair. people just can't do protein. I was doing Apogee every six weeks. I, I didn't say that earlier, but I said I did the Apogee before I had my hair highlighted. But um, I religiously did pro, um, Apogee every six weeks. And back when my hair was a little bit longer, whenever I'd have a problem, my curls looked flat or dead, I'd put some sort of protein or in it. Or shedding or breaking off. Or shedding me. or break. Oh, for you. For yeah. me, shedding or breaking for off, me, you'd they say could do just, Apogee. Yeah, for me, they just kind of like hang limp, and I'd put do something with protein, and boing, they just curl right back up. So mm -hmm. this is just protein in my hair, but my hair is just shorter, and it has all kinds of definition in it. I really, really like it. So whether it is one and done approved, whether it has moisture, curl definition, and hold, I think it has all three. Mm -hmm. Definitely. definitely. Our curls definitely have not a, a cast, but you know, you feel the, your curls being held. Um, mm -hmm. Like we said, we feel the shea butter in our hands. There's moisture and uh, definitely curl definition. Let's lean in a little bit. Yep. Mm -hmm. Curl definition. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Grow and Restore Leave-In Conditioner is... One and done approved. Mac curls and one and done approved. Thank you to the commenter under one of our videos that said that um, when I asked, the, when somebody said, do you use something in the Shea Moisture line? And I said, any ideas? That person never came back to answer. But somebody else came in and they said they use the Black Castor Oil line, just, just the leave-in. And it certainly works. I love and it. And I feel like for the size, the amount that you get, um, paying anywhere from 10 to $13, I don't think mm -hmm. that's unreasonable at all so i think it's definitely worth and it and it lasts a while right yeah it definitely does it definitely does the so. smell did we get on the smell oh so <laughs> we we talked about the smell in the beginning and again we said like it's not a, it's not a good smell it's not a bad smell i mean you have to smell it for yourself but we said it did smell like cinnamony birthday cakey like fallish um mm -hmm. and if i didn't know about the smell <laughs> you know how strong it was i was leaving church and somebody was like i smell shea moisture jamaican black castor oil leaving <laughs> like i smell it who's like and i was like no it's me it's in my, it's in my hair <laughs> i am you know i do have the shea moisture so like people can smell and she was like oh you know it's not a bad smell she, i just i know recognize the smell so it's yeah. a it's a smell people will recognize if they know shea moisture which a lot of people do it's um, yeah it's very gnawing and and i just i never cared for it. that's why i turned over the the jar to you years ago, but I think I could tolerate it now because I like it. Because the results. The results. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I didn't get results. Well, my hair was longer then, so, but it's worth it now to, to go through that smell. Um, but, you know, we'll see <laughs> <laughs> how long I can take it. <laughs> okay. Anything else? I think we covered it all. We covered it all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, thank you so much for watching. We love you when you guys give us suggestions. Some, one of our subscribers put us on to this. So definitely keep leaving suggestions down below when you leave them, we read them, we get on it. So mm -hmm. leave them down below if you have any more ideas or anything you want to see us try. And thank you so much for watching. Okay. Thank you for watching. And, and that's the end of our video. We'll see you in our next video. <laughs> <laughs> it's late. What time is it? Like 10. Oh, it's 10, yes. Okay, it's and past our bedtime. It totally is. <laughs> My heating blanket awaits. Um, and we will see you in our next video. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>